Opal Opal uh, Heat press Little mini heat press Doing a little open I ain't gonna say this review Cause I have no idea If this thing gonna work But I really bought it So I could do heat presses But it ended up coming with a uh, A little Teflon pouch Which you know I just bought some of them Another little Teflon sheet. Look at this. Should have look at this. This is DTF. You can see the crystals on there. You can see the crystals. This is DTF. This is DTF printing. So people are telling you that you can't, you know, you can't make money, you can't have mass production and all this, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Selling transfers, um, there are machines uh, that you can get to do it. And we see that this particular company has somebody with DTF, um, you know, what I'm saying, doing their transfers, doing these print, and, and these look pretty, they're pretty spiffy. Some other ones. I'm saying some nice colors. Oh, uh, it's a different kind of sheet. It don't look like that much powder on your sheet, but yeah, that's DTF. I can see the crystals. Um, still see the crystals on there. That is DTF. You see, the, you see the crystals. So this company has linked with somebody doing DTF printing um, to do you know these little sample packs for all of their um, heat heat transfers. I mean, uh, heat presses. Lock it. Heat presses. You know I ain't finna read no instructions. Need to, though. You know, when I run into an issue or a problem, um, I'm sure that goes like that. All right. Am I right? Yep. Yeah. And that's about all we have here. All right, and so you had this instruction manual. Uh, cool up, reach temperature, medium, high, high. There ain't much to it. Vinyl, holographic. You got like a little heat chart to it showing you. I don't know if y'all can see that. Um, Got the glitter vinyl, you know, the holographic. 40 seconds for light transfer paper, 30 seconds. Um... Foil take 30 seconds on low. Medium for holographic. Uh what I'm trying to do is heat patches. Yeah, I think we good, y'all. So let's try to plug this thing up, see if we can get something going. So what I'm trying to do is I wanna not I, I embroider some um some patches. And uh, I just want to heat, put the heat bond on the back of these, uh, so I can just stick these on. I'm still gonna iron them. I'm in a. I'm still gonna sew them on. But this would definitely, definitely help. This. So that's why I bought this particular machine. I wanted. I bought this for. I bought this heat press for um, tags. Vinyl tags and patches and patches, and I started to get that mini that uh circuit mini press, but uh, you know, they had different sizes, but all the sizes were kind of funny, and then the smaller size just was too small. And then for the money, I got one that's like twice as twice the size. Uh, okay, so so that's why I should have that's why I should have looked. So it got a couple buttons right here. I guess it's getting to its hottest point. Um, I don't know. Okay. So it, the red means it's getting to its particular temperature. Uh, that's the highest setting right there. And so once that turns green, it, it would have went to... Um, it reached that uh, set temperature, and then we can go ahead and iron on, um, try to iron this heat bond onto these patches. 
All right, we back. Didn't really take that long to warm up. Um, so I right, say so you got the heat bond. You're going on the opposite side. Place your heat bond down, and then just I'm gonna teach you how to do this. We do a um, I'm a Teflon sheet. Did I toss the sheet? Oh nope, here it is. And sit that on top of there like that, and. I just want you to press down. It's a little weird. <laughs> a little weird. Press down 30 seconds. Don't really have a timer. And um this this is bigger than um The sheet is bigger than the actual heat press. So you have to do this in sections. But it's cool that it had the um the DTF printing in there, man. Like I said, it's opportunities in there. I do think it is the future. And um, you know what I'm saying? People just gotta get him to it. That's just it just is what it is. Um these companies are this is what they're using nobody's doing it cheaper that's how they got the contract so that's how they made the bid on it because nobody could do those printouts for them uh any cheaper than uh than doing the dts now you look at them again That is, that is DTF printing. Like I gotta say, nobody is doing it cheaper, so they got the contract. It's gonna be hard to, it's gonna be hard to compete. It's gonna be hard to compete. So you definitely, um, it's definitely gonna be the move in, um, you know, transfers. Full color transfers. DTF is going to be uh, the move. And I think more people are just going to be buying from cheap DTF uh, transfer people. You just can't beat that price. Especially some of those machines that they have out there now, man. Machines do so much. So I'm going to let that, I think, I think that was able to accomplish what we wanted. So let this cool off. Because it is a um, a cold peel, and then we're gonna try to apply it to the shirt. I don't know what that is on there? But we got it cut out. See the back? Got the glue. Then we're gonna place this. Remove that out the way. Let me get a little closer. Hey, let that cool off while I cut this other one out. I should have put the Teflon sheet down on it. And patches can really improve, improve your shirt, man. It can really, it can add about $10 to your shirt with just a simple patch. And make your brand stand out. Make it look more legit because everybody, everybody making t-shirts, man. All right, everybody making t-shirts and to set yourself apart. That's what we're trying to do. Make ourselves uh, look a lot more legit. Man, these folks crazy out here, man. What they doing? See? Y'all got to y'all got to bear with me. It's a club next door. And I'm filming this at about 1.30, 2 o'clock. Uh, so they probably good and drunk. <laughs> so, 
uh, and probably arguing about a parking spot out there. But um, y'all bear with me. We almost through this thing. And I know this was a fairly boring video, but this is why I bought this thing. I thought it was going to be a good idea. It seems a bit time consuming, but um, at least I ain't got to bring out, you know what I'm saying, heat up the heat press. It just, it's a little quicker than waiting on the heat press to uh, get up to temp. And um, it may save on the energy bill. I don't know. All right, so that's kind of in there. And all we do now is, um, well, what I'm going to do, I'm still going to sew. I'm going to sew this patch on to steel, just ensure that it doesn't it doesn't come off. So we let that cool off. But DTF, DTF patches, add some patches to your shirts. Stop just selling regular shirts, just add just a quick little patch. Boom, boom, boom. May even be like your little your logo or something. Um, but with that, we out, man. Make sure y'all like, subscribe.